All right, got something very crazy I want to show you. This is clips of Jesse Morrell, and I've done videos exposing Jesse Morrell in the past. The guy is a full-on just papist. He's he follows his Pelagian doctrine. He is he thinks he's sinlessly perfect. By the way, as well, I've shown that in other, other videos. Uh, he basically just teaches Roman Catholicism. The stuff he says about against eternal security, against the imputed righteousness of Christ, is straight out of the Jesuit Council of Trent. So he may, he may, him and his street preacher buddies may go against Roman Catholicism, and in terms of their false gospel, they line up perfectly with Rome. Hence why I call them street papists, because all they're doing is just preaching Catholic heresies out on the streets. You know, again, they may not do the whole Mary idolatry, all the saints and all, all the saint praying to saints and everything else, but when it comes to their view on salvation and, you know, God keeping you saved, they line up perfectly with Roman Catholicism. But here's a clip. Here's actually two clips I'm going to show where Jesse Morrell literally says that the saint can actually sin when they're in heaven. So a born again saint, redeemed and up in heaven, he, he implies, strongly implies that they can still sin. In this first clip, I'm going to show you. Watch this. So it's actually Calvinism that teaches sinless perfection because uh, Calvinists teach that when you die, God will give you a glorified body and you cannot sin anymore. Once you get to heaven, sin is impossible. Uh, Calvinism says that you can attain a state of sinless perfection after you die. Uh, that's a denial of free will. The reason God gave us free will in the first place is the reason God doesn't violate our free will in salvation. It's the reason he doesn't violate free will when we get to heaven. Heaven will be full of people who refuse to sin. Heaven will be full of people who choose to love God. And that's what he wanted from the beginning. That's why he lets us go through this life of probation um, so we can form our own character to, uh, to become saints or to be sinners, to choose our path. And uh, those who choose to be sinners will go to hell, and those who choose to be saints will be fit for heaven. Not earn heaven, not merit heaven, but to be fit for the kingdom of God. Yeah, now if you thought that was bad, check this out. This other clip, because uh, in the first clip, Jesse Merrill kind of implies it, but here's a clip where he outright says, the saint can still sin when they're in heaven. Okay, watch this. But Calvinists think that your current body is necessitating you to be sinful. And so a glorified body will necessitate you to be holy. Like R.C. Sproul said, you, uh, you can't stop sinning until you die and get a glorified body. It's straight Gnosticism. Gnostics say the body is sinful, and so you can't stop sinning until you get a new body. But they think once you get to heaven, it's impossible to sin. And that's false, because the devil sinned in heaven. Satan sinned in heaven. You can sin in heaven. It's just people who get there are saints who refuse to sin while they're on earth so of course they're going to refuse to sin when they're in heaven i mean that is just rank heresy right there uh here are some scriptures two quick scriptures sh showing that the saint cannot sin when they're in heaven and that this this heresy by jesse Merrill, because it goes in line with this whole pelagian doctrine that you have to continually maintain this this state of sinless perfection even when, even now when you're in heaven apparently you have to maintain this sinless perfection so even when you get to heaven, you still got to maintain the sinless state. I guess you get kicked out if you don't maintain it or whatever. I mean, it's a bunch of, of rank heresy. But here's a, some two quick scriptures showing that he is dead wrong on this matter. Uh, first of all, in heaven, the saints are conformed to the image of Christ, uh, which, of course, you know, when you get raptured, the raptured, the body goes up. You're given an incorruptible body and the saint in heaven is conformed to the image of Christ. Romans chapter 8, verse 29 to 30. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he, he called, them he also justified, and, wh and whom he justified, them he also glorified. Uh, if you're conformed to the image of the sinless, resurrected Christ, uh, you're not going to be sinning up in heaven. You're not going to have that ability or desire to sin in heaven. It's a bunch of just Pelag just Pelagian nonsense from Jesse Morrell. Uh, next point is that Jesus Christ changes the saints' vile body when they're in heaven. Again, compare this back to Romans chapter 8, verse 29 to 30. Okay, Philippians chapter 3, verse 20 down to verse 21. And this also makes a problem for his whole sinless perfectionism, Pelagian, you know, Luciferian doctrine as well. Because that's all that is. If you think you're sinlessly perfect, you're just believing in Luciferianism. You're believing in Satan's Luciferian lie of ye shall be as gods that he told Eve in Genesis chapter 3 verse 5. But here, here it is, Philippians chapter 3 verse 20 down to verse 21. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that it, might, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to 
the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. You have a vile body. Okay, you don't have a you don't have a good body. Your body is corruptible and prone to sin. First uh, Corinthians chapter fifteen verse forty two down to verse fifty four has a whole just a whole uh, segment about how your corruptible body you have an earthly corruptible body and is incorruptible at the rapture. And you see here Jesus Christ changes your vile body. Okay, you're not you don't have a sinful you don't have sinful desires or the ability to sin when you're in heaven. You have you're in the image of Christ at that point. So just a quick video I wanted to do on the spot showing just the rank heresy of Jesse Morrell and also many of these street papists who are just going out and preaching Roman Catholic doctrine and Catholic heresies and, and Jesuit doctrine out of the Council of Trent. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.